Hey guys, it's Brent here with BJM Motor Co. And uh, as I promised in the last video, um, I'm going to be opening up a mystery trunk organizer from Adams Polish. Um, I've purchased several uh, mystery products from uh, Adams Polish, so uh, make sure to watch the other videos. I've now done two mystery buckets, two mystery boxes, and now, um, as you can see, I got the trunk organizer there. Um, so let's open it up and uh, at the end of the video, I'll do analysts of uh, cost analysts if it would have been better off, you know, purchasing the stuff individually or, uh, you know, how I, how I came out. So uh, let's get into it. First here, you can see the Adams Polish uh, trunk organizer. Looks to be pretty good quality. Um, we've got a couple of compartments on the side here, carrying carrying strap. And another pocket over here, such. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got here. First things first. Looks like a pretty nice wash mitt with microfiber. Um, pretty good quality. Um, I don't do a whole lot of hand washing on the truck. Um, so my last video. I got um, a product to put into the um, foam cannon, so that's more of what I like to lean towards, if possible. Um, I, you know, I tr try the two bucket method and all that. Um, you know, anytime that I can get my truck looking, you know, 80, 90 percent clean without touching it. That's why I usually, uh, as far as physically touching it, I should say by hand. Um, the more often I can do that, the better, um, just to keep it clean while I'm driving back and forth to work. Um, and then, you know, do a full detail and actually get on it. But, you know, just with like my wheels and stuff, um, you know, still have them on the winter. You can see they're a little dirty. Um, I'll hand polish them maybe every third or fourth time I clean the truck just because it leaves fine scratches on it so easy that I try to just, you know, keep up on it, but you know, not continue to um, wipe down on it constantly, putting more and more fine scratches that, you know, I'm gonna have to keep on buffing out and um, especially during the winter months here. So um, next thing, foam applicator. And that would be used with several products in here, it looks like, but first thing, Brilliant Glaze. Um, looks like a gloss enhancer. Um, I have not used it, have no experience with it, have not seen any reviews on it. But I'm definitely willing to give that a shot. Um, next is the Eco Wheel Cleaner. I have used this. Um, that's actually what I use every time I go to the car wash, power wash the truck. I'll go around and pre-soak the wheels with the um, Eco Wheel Cleaner, and uh, it does a, it does a really good job actually. You know, like I said, without having to physically touch the wheel with a wash mitt or a rag or anything, just spray it on, let it soak there for a minute, power wash it off. Does a you know great job. Wheels are a little bit dirty now. It's been three or four days since I washed the truck, but um, this will spray your heads, of course. Another foam applicator. And a couple of block applicators, microfiber block applicators. And buttery wax. Um, if you watch some of my other videos, you can see that um, I believe I got this in one of my mystery boxes. Haven't had a chance to try it. That was probably about a month ago. Um, with it being winter and uh, just working a lot, having a chance to wax the truck. So, crap load of reviews online. Everybody loves it. Can't wait to try it. So, that's definitely on my to-do list. Detail spray. Happy about that. Always use the crap of the detail spray. Um, like I said in my other video as well, it's probably my top two. I like uh, Griot's uh, Speed Shine, the light blue one, um, but this detail spray is awesome as well. Um, next up, car shampoo. Um, I've used this once or twice as well. Um, good product, lather, or lathers up real nice and everything. Um, 
it has a good smell too and everything. So I use it on the uh, cars with a lot. So good product as well. Paint sealant. I have no experience with this. Um, haven't read any reviews and definitely will. Uh, a little smaller, looks like what, eight ounce bottle. But um, definitely uh, something else I would like to give a try. Um, may try it on a vehicle with a lot or something like that. Um, I don't have a crap load of polish and stuff like, like my truck does already. Next up, uh, you got the spray wax. Um, haven't used the spray wax. Always use the spray detailer, but um, I like to try different things. So, um, you know, once again, I'll have to probably try it on something that don't has multiple coats of, you know, wax and coating and everything like the truck but um to really get a good feel for testing the product but um as you can see quite a quite a bit of stuff so far already um edgeless utility two pack rags got that there leather and interior cleaner um i've used their um interior cleaner quite often. I've never used the leather and interior cleaner. Um, got leather seats in the truck, so definitely worth a shot. And what else we got here? Tire rubber cleaner. Um, I guess I've really never used a tire rubber cleaner. Um, you know, a lot of times if you're, you know, if you're like me, I just wash the truck and then, you know, put some kind of, um, tire shine or sealant on it that don't sling everywhere but um i guess it'd be nice sometimes to break down get you know clean the tires real well so you're not just you know black and dirt black and you know covering up dirt over and over so there's another product and the last bottle here is glass sealant um i have actually purchased glass sealant when i bought my um ceramic coating for my um my last truck, my Dodge um, Cummins, but I had never used it, never used ceramic coating. Um, be interesting to try. Um, you know, I'm sure it gives the effect like rain -X. You know, a lot of people use rain -X on the windshield and stuff like that. Um, you know, I'd be interesting. To, it'd be interesting to, you know, really clean, clean the glass windows, um, you know, and put the sealant on it. But uh, that'd probably be a spring project for me as well. Um, we're a few days away from Christmas, so, uh, you know, I'm getting antsy, um, you know, get past Christmas and everything and uh, wait a couple months and hopefully spring will be rolling around and uh, get back in to be able to, you know, stay out here and clean some stuff. But, uh, yep, as far as the product line here, pretty good spread. Um, I'll hop on their website, do a cost analyst on this as well and, um, you know, see where it all comes in. But overall, I really like the carrying case, as you can see in there. Pretty nice. I like a tool bag. It's got instructions in there. I'll have to mess with it more. But it's a little chilly out today. So uh, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, continue to watch my videos. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, like I said, I have several mis uh, mystery buckets, boxes on here. And uh, this is just to add to my collection here. Um, a lot of cool videos, um, product reviews. Um, and uh, I, I continue to always, you know, try new products and stuff. So uh, hit the subscribe button, um, share my videos, and uh, this is Brent with BJM Motorco. Appreciate it.